Just got to Eagle Eye to check out some new hats. Chris in the office like always. How you doing? Good, you're so blurry. There it goes, there's Chris. Guys, so today on the Hush Life vlog, I wanted to do kind of like a day in the life. So I'm gonna take the camera with me pretty much everywhere I go today, including the mountain, which should be a lot of fun. Oh, hello. hello. First thing I'm gonna do today is come down to Eagle Eye. This is where we ship all our shirts and hats and they also embroider and print everything. A couple things going on is I just brought in these cipher hats. These are the first light cipher hats that we're gonna have on the website. And Eagle Eye actually is gonna do all the embroidery. This should have a fire bowl on the front and then it will be embroidered on the side with Hush. So we got a first run of Fusion hats and literally sold them within I think 30 days. So we will have Fusion and Cypher on the site soon. And then I'm excited about this as well. This is a new hat design that we came up with and we've been toying around with a bunch of different colors. But check these out. We're calling it the 50-50. So it's basically the like a 3D fireball antler and two shades behind it uh, with a little border around it like a patch. So we've been messing around with different color options, different hat options. Um, I really like this one. I think we're going to produce that one. Um, I think we're going to do this one for now, that one, and this camo neon one. That's the one I'm most excited about. Everybody say hi to Caitlin. Hello. <laughs> this is most likely who is shipping, shipping all your orders, so when you get one, you can know that it came from right here, this little station. <laughs> the Hush Corner. Check it out. So guys, real quick, I want to share a little story with you. Super sad story. Um, uh, someone reached out to us last weekend and gave us some bad news that her son's best friend um, unfortunately took his own life. So his friend Isaiah and I spoke on the phone yesterday and he said his friend Jet, this is dedicated to Jet, he said that he was a huge Hush fan and loved to shed hunt, loved to make YouTube videos and he always wore this hat right here. We're sending 30 of these hats to the family and friends while they celebrate his life. Um, a bunch of the family and friends are going to be wearing Hush hats. Super crazy. So, uh, Eagle Eye is helping us rush out some hats to this family and I just want to take a moment to say thanks to Jet for his support uh, for our videos. It seriously means so much. I wish I had the opportunity to reach out to him and just let him know how much his support meant to me and Casey and Brian. Sad circumstances, but we're happy to help uh, ship out these hats and take care of those guys. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who support us. Um, I can't imagine what it'd be like for someone at such a young age, who's only 16 years old, to have that type of weight on his shoulders to think that, you know, that was the best way out. But I don't know the circumstances or what he was going through. I just, I just want him and all his friends and family to know that we are thinking about you guys and um, we do appreciate all your love and support. I just want to show you guys what's on clearance right now. There's not many left, but we do have the FlexFit 210. Guys, the Foamy is still on sale. We need to get rid of these, and I don't know why they're moving because this is one of the most comfortable hats I've ever worn. This one is also gonna be on sale on the website. There's a small variety of shirts and hoodies left too, so check that out at gethushin.com. But I'm about to wrap things up here at Eagle Eye, and then if I can get all my chores done today, I'm gonna take you guys with me up to the mountain to set some trail cameras, check some trail cameras, and probably hang a tree stand. So I'm just gonna keep working hard so I can get up there before dark. Morning, good morning, or should I say mid-afternoon. I got a, a little bit of a late start today, which is no bueno because it is getting hot quickly. Gage, what are we doing? We're going to see the, cat, the trail cams that we set last year. We are a little behind the eight ball this year, guys. It is August 1st. Uh, Idaho archery elk hunt starts in 29 days from today, and we haven't set cameras yet. So not that it's a huge necessity, but it is fun to see what bulls are out here, what bulls hopefully made it through the winter. But I do have two cameras that I set out, me and Gage set out last August. Yeah. I believe it was last August or into July, I can't remember. But there's two set out. Hopefully they still have batteries. These stealth cameras that we are running are incredible um like 
Eric just went and checked some cameras from our deer camp up in Utah from last year when he set them. They still have battery life, so I'm hoping the two that I have set out still have battery life. I'm worried about the one because it's over some water and there's cattle in there, so lots of pictures of cattle, but we'll go see. And then we're going to set out four new cameras, which will be rad. We have all the essentials to make it a great day. We got uh, some stealth cams, but we're going to set out in some new spots. I am super stoked about this, guys. This is the Horn Hunter main beam in stone, which is super sexy. But uh, I've always ran the uh, straight six or the full curl system. This is a little bit different than the full, full curl system with the main beam. Um, but I'm excited to try this out this year. So, got the gators, got some boots, got my crispy boots. Man, I can't say enough about those. Duracell batteries, Duracell. Oh, just a battery, you know, really. Right, Gage? Yeah. Just a battery. battery. You ready to hike in this heat? Let's go jump in the creek first. Okay. Eric has me on a super strict diet, eating five little small meals a day. Better have that before I start hiking. This guy ate a giant breakfast burrito on the way out here. Yeah. Thanks. Welcome. I am feeling a lot better though. I've never eaten this much food or this many times a day. My problem is I eat the wrong food at the wrong time. I never eat until right before bed and I get super starving, eat at like 11.30 at night and stuff myself. That's not good for your body I hear. So, this is, I, I've enjoyed this diet. It's like a protein shake, a Mountain Ops protein shake in the morning. Small meal at like 11, another small meal at like two. Um, two more small meals and then a protein shake before I go to bed. But what I've noticed is every time after I eat, I have a ton of energy, which I've never had before. I usually get super tired after I eat. So hopefully shed some pounds in the next 17 days. We have our first hunt starts in 17 days. I believe it's the 18th or the 16th, I can't remember, but. That's why this hike will be nice. Well, not looking good. I'm trying to use this stealth cam card reader, which I've never used before. I should have read how to use it, but it's saying that the files are corrupt or something, or there's no files. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go check. I hope someone didn't erase those pictures because that would that would suck. Don't don't be that guy. If you find somebody's camera, leave it alone. Even if you want to check it, check it. Don't erase his pictures. Don't turn it off. Don't steal it. You're being that guy if you do that. All right, this is all the stuff that I'm going to take up tonight to set a tree stand. I'm going to actually stay overnight, so I, I still need to get my hammock and a sleeping bag. But I've got the horn hunter frame, which I'm going to put the tree stand directly onto that. Obviously... That'll go on my chest, and then I've got stealth cam, some critter lick. I need to go get more pegs. I've got some food to survive overnight, um, and I'll put all the small stuff here in this bag. And after that is on top of here, I can strap that down. Well, I just bought $72 worth of tree stand pegs. <laughs> that should be enough for me to set a few tree stands this year. I'm going to do one today, and then... I'll have plenty of these but I came here once to get these and they were sold out so not gonna let that happen again packed up loaded up um, so I'll catch up with you guys on the hill oh we're getting down here to the creek so their camera is and I'm don't have a lot of high hopes I can honestly see this camera just being completely gone in the wind gone with the wind see though Fingers crossed, no one messed with it. I know if no one touched it, there's gonna be some pictures of some bowls on there, but who knows? Waiting for Gager. Gager! He's gone with the wind, too. Well, camera two, like I expected, gone. Gone with the wind. You guys suck. Whoever stole our camera sucks. Yeah. Can you say that? I, so. I'll allow you to say that. Well, this is the water source we had it on, which is super rad because it's about the only water source up here. Well, in years past, this year we've had a lot of rain, so there's probably more water up here than there has been. But well, I shouldn't say a lot of rain. We had a lot of snow last year, a lot of melt, a lot of runoff. But this creek is pretty rad. It is theft, but we are on public public property. 
public lands, enjoying public lands. I got my keep public lands and public land shirt on, but same time, if you're stealing people's stuff off public lands, that's theft. And you are a bad person and a criminal. And if you're watching this and you know you stole my camera, you suck. And your mom sucks for not teaching you better. A couple positives to take away from that hike is the Horn Hunter main beam is super comfortable. Um, I didn't have it really loaded down. Had like three or four trail cams, a bunch of batteries, a couple things of water, some snacks. So probably about 400 pounds was all I had in it. I usually hunt elk hunt anyways when we're just running and gunning with the straight six, but uh, this is just a little bit bigger. So when we do get a bull down, and I have packed, me and Eric have packed elk out on the straight sixes before and they work great, but this would be a little bit bigger if we get one down. Anyways, we're gonna go to a new spot uh, on the other side of the unit and try to go put some trail cameras up where people won't steal them. Well, I just made it to my destination. Ooh. This is where I'm gonna set the trail camera. I'm gonna put some salt, dig a little shelf out here, put some salt here. Trail camera on that tree, right there. There should be a lot of activity on that trail. And then see these two trees right here? I'm gonna put one tree stand up on that side. So I'm a left-handed shooter. The, the seat will be angled that way. That way for me, I'll be able to just sit draw back and shoot them right here 20 20 yards tops I just dug out this little shelf right here throw down a bag of critter lick critter lick set up and honestly this is like a perfect angle they clear all the the branches and stuff right here if they're standing right here I've got a clear shot so that's gonna work perfect I'll tell you what, this is some hard work. I'm spent, I feel like a rock climber. I put in one, two, three, four, five, six of these pegs so far, and that's as high as I've gotten. <laughs> I think I brought 15 of these, so I'm just doing one at a time, coming back down, resting, going back, doing one. Just trying to make sure they're in there good and that they're uh, tough. And uh, I haven't spaced them that far apart, so it's easy to climb up and down. Yeah, these guys, pain in the butt. But it's gonna have to work up here in the high country. There's no bringing a four-wheeler up here or, you know, bringing like a climbing stand. It's just not gonna work up here. Well, what did you think about today? Setting cameras, checking cameras, doing all that fun stuff. Two thumbs up, you guys heard it here. Two thumbs up from Ranger Gager. We did, we're a little and disappointed, a and a toe, two thumbs and a toe. We were a little disappointed about somebody messing with the cameras and still on cameras, but at the end of the day, that's on you guys. That, well, not on you guys, but that's on whoever the thief was that decided to steal it and mess with people's stuff. It's not worth it. I don't I don't care, like, if that was your spot or if you found my camera and were like, this guy needs to get out of here. It's dumb. I mean, we're not gonna let it affect us. We had a great day. We set up a, a few other cameras, reset those cameras, and uh, we're not gonna let some thief affect the outcome of today. So that's that's the underlining message for today is, you know what, if you wanna be a thief, be a thief, but if you wanna go out and enjoy your time, go out and enjoy your time and just leave people's stuff alone, okay? Or else next time Gage will punch you right in the mouth. For all you guys that hang a lot of tree stands, you guys are crazy. I thought I was gonna go <laughs> higher, way higher. Um, the tree's not that high, especially for the level that the, the bait is at, but there's the stand. Just gather my stuff and try to get up to the top of the mountain before it's too dark. Try to do a little bit of glassing tonight. Well guys, I made it just at last light. So I just glassed up <clears throat> two bucks quite a ways away. So I'm gonna get my spotting scope set up and try to identify which bucks they are, see if they're any of the bucks we got on trail cam. Just a couple middle-aged young bucks, young bucks. Three by three and a four by four. Here's the setup I'm using, guys. This is a Vortex Razor 
HD. Um, I think it's 85 millimeter. And then I've got an iPhone 7 Plus with the phone scope adapter. So those deer are a long ways away. And if you want, you can zoom with your spotting scope. You can, you know, zoom out, zoom in. Phone scopes are pretty fun, guys. You got to check them out. This is the third year in a row I've scouted and hunted this area. And so far, it's easily the slowest year. I don't know what, what the deal is, but I'm just not seeing the quality of bucks or the quantity of just deer in general. So I don't know what's going on. I know we had a hard winter. That might have something to do with it, but I'm gonna use what's left of daylight to get my um, sleeping bag and what are those things called? Hammock. Gotta go get my hammock set up. Oh, good morning, guys. It's about 6, 10 a.m. Rolled out of the hammock today to just an awesome sunrise. There's just enough clouds uh, to get some really cool colors in the sky. They've kind of faded now, but should be light enough to glass right now. Just gotta get out to the point get the scope set up and hope that there's some bigger bucks out today well the morning was short-lived as soon as the Sun came up as soon as it got light I spotted some bucks that big three-point that I saw last night and uh, he was actually with a, a way bigger buck this morning a big four-point I just kept an eye on them they kind of working their way through um, this high country basin and, and then all of a sudden they just busted started booking it down the hill and sure enough two guys were right above them on the skyline just walking the ridge top so the morning glass came to a quick end but you know that's one of the challenges of hunting public land is is there are going to be other people up here hunting and uh, there's nothing wrong with that you know obviously we love public land and we want everyone else to get out and enjoy it and just so happens that some of those guys are going to come enjoy it in the same spots that we do. No big deal. This hunt starts in two and a half weeks. So there's not a lot of time, but there's some shooter bucks spotted. And can't wait to get back up here with BMAC and Casey. Casey's been out buzzing around with his son Gage looking for elk, I think. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Bouncing back between Casey and I is pretty fun. I'm going to get home and edit this and get it up for you guys. So uh, we'll catch you later.